gut. <laughs> Auch gut. Of being here in Hamburg, between you. It's my first time to be here in this city. And actually, my trip to Germany wasn't direct to here. I went through uh, a lot of different uh, stations before arriving in Hamburg. And I didn't have a clear entity to do this trip, except I had some invitations from some friends to visit them. And I decided to have some free time for what I'm already doing, art and life. So I decided to have it here in Germany and I decided to have it between different spots in order to get to digging more further, to have more knowledge about the German culture because as I imagine and as I saw already through this trip, it have a very big diversity between North, East, West, uh, South, and even between the two cities beside each other, there is a lot of differences. And these differences always reach in our life, being here and there, or being here and looking at there, as well, how is it between South and North? It's between uh, between here and Hamburg, this small town and that bigger one. Uh, my name is Hamdi Reda and I'm a visual artist and creator and I run Art in Lewa since 10 years I found it. After I established myself as an artist and I have done a couple of exhibitions and some residences in Switzerland and in Spain. And it came the idea for me to create Art in Lua or to start it after two questions. The first question was, shall I continue living in my neighborhood or move to uh, a new neighborhood to downtown, for example, or to one of the new compounds as most of the artists or intellectuals in general does after they uh, establish themselves. And the answer was, no, I'm not in need to move for a lot of reasons. One of those reasons that I'm very comfortable in my neighborhood, between my family, between my friends, and it's cool there, and it's, it's inspiring me a lot with its lively life. Our street is awake 24 hours. Whenever I would like, whenever I'm bored, for example, at my studio, I can go to the coffee shop and find at least two or three I know I can talk to. And this is, could happen at 3 or 4 a.m. Uh, plus, it doesn't cost me a lot to survive there. So it's my own place. And uh, the life there is not that expensive. So this is a very good reason to find a lot of time for myself as an artist. Uh, so that was the decision to continue, to remain in Art in Lewa, in Art in Lewa, our neighborhood called Art in Lewa, which is, means the land of the colonial. Uh, and I got the name of the art space from the neighborhood name. I converted art to art land to art uh, and it's a very it's very sarca sarcastic and funny in Arabic when you say art in Lewa a lot of people make fun of it <coughs> and sometimes when you ask about art in Lewa they, they think you are talking about the neighborhood not about my art space but you have a different accent or you miss uh, spelling it so that was the first question to remain there. The second question was, what I'm doing here? What is my related relation to my neighborhood? Art have nothing to do there. It's a working class neighborhood, uh, poor and middle class, like workers, teachers, 
students and there is nothing there at all to do with art. Art always in downtown, in touristical areas, but what art does in art and law. And that was my second uh, issue to about myself in my neighborhood. What I am, what I'm doing, and what is this related to, to others. So I found that art and law in order to find the space and I describe it very simply. I'm taking myself as an example for others. So I found that art and law for those who are similar like me living in such neighborhood to be exposed to the art as I haven't this exposed when I was a child. So I'm providing this for others. In the same time, I found that Art and Law is a space for me as an artist and for others who are interested to find a different scale of art, a different communication between art and society, between art and people, between art and the street, between art and environment. So the space there is mainly for this. It's a space for artists and for people to meet with the art. Therefore, most of our programs have the main criteria of interactivity or something related to the society, to the environment, not studio art. While some of the studio, but not with very strict ways, because there is a lot of studio art related, then it's welcome. And as Always, I haven't been, this year actually we were celebrating 10 years of Art and Lewa, while I, I found it in, in 2007. And this is some of the posters of the exhibitions we had during the last few years. Uh, and that exhibition was in last January by a German photographer who had the first exhibition in Art and Lewa in 2007. Uh, he called David Abbey and I consider him as a co-founder of Art and Lewa because I, he was artist residence in Cairo at that time and, um, and I, I had a lot of talks with him while he's a photographer and I'm a photographer too and we had some common interest so I was telling him about the project, it wasn't open yet and I was telling him yeah I'm trying to find a space maybe two floors or three or something like this to found an art center or uh, a, a gallery in Art and Lower and then he asked me uh, why you are searching for a big space I told him yeah to be able to have something in it and he said yeah but you can have something in a small place. And he told me about their art space in Bern. They have a gallery called Marx Plant. It's in a kiosk, one meter by one meter fifty. And they do a new exhibition every week at that kiosk. And he showed me the website and some images. And I get astonished by this. And then, yeah, the room downstairs, the shop we have in our house, is a bigger than a kiosk. It's three meter by three meter. <laughs> then I told him, yeah, okay, we have the space. Would you come to do you the first exhibition there? I said, yeah, well, of course, I would love to. And he came and did a very nice exhibition, and we started by that. In ten years, I invited him to have his second exhibition, which is this, and this is the view of, of, the, of the ground floor. The right side is the exhibition room, and the left side, we have it more now. After some years, we add it to the space. It have a library and a space for, yeah, this is, can give you an imagination of how the space is small, but at the same time, it's collecting a lot of people.
And this is the artist, David Abbey. His exhibition was quite interesting because this is what he had done when he was in residence 10 years ago. And he chose the, the vision towers as an element, as an architecture element to photograph it. Without going to a lot of details of his exhibition, this is another exhibition by an Egyptian young artist uh, who did it recently. It was early March. And that exhibition was a very interesting turning point in Art in Lewa. Because Art in Lewa, during the 10 years, it moved from one man show to one man with other uh, volunteers helping him. And then we established an institution. And that institution grew and grew until 2013. As I remember, we were almost like 13 uh, embryo in administrative board. And there was uh, a head board for the institution with seven members. But then there was a very big uh, collapse and cut in funding because of the situation in Egypt. So uh, I was thinking too much, shall I close it now? Or shall I continue with lower profile? And I couldn't close it. I said, yeah, I, I, I have to continue because it's, it, it, it should continue somehow. Even if I have only one wall to show in it and have no money to cover this, I, we can do it just by our hands. We don't need money to do art. Uh, and yeah, we remain smaller smaller in this until we became again like just me now and some people helping between time to time and now even i'm opening the space for the artists to use it in the way they like but they have to look after their exhibition therefore our exhibitions now are shorter this exhibition for example it stayed for one week uh, for uh, five days. Our exhibition in general it was like one month, but this is five days because the artists have no time to come except five days. So, and, and there is something also very interesting about this exhibition that this is the first exhibition by this artist. He's a graphic designer and he does some drawing and he came to me with this drawing saying, yeah, what do you think of it? I told him, yeah, let's go to think about it in the space. Uh, and this is, yeah, I, I want to say that I always, since, since when we started, I try to keep the balance of the, of the diversity in the space between fresh artists and established artists, Egyptian artists and foreign artists, female artists and male artists and others, they are totally welcome. Uh, this is a very interesting piece by a very young artist. I will come back to it again. But in our projects, we moved from this simple exhibition, which is, was just 10 centimeter square drawings, hanged on the wall, as simple as that, to a very complicated project. That project was one of the complicated long projects. It was three months residence for three Swiss artists in the space doing a radio station. And that radio station worked for two months uh, online. And they opened the space as a radio station, welcoming all people from the neighborhood to do whatever they would like to show in the radio, to sing, to talk, to rap, to uh, discuss issues about the neighborhood as well to do for audio artists to do audio art and expose it in the radio and it was a magnificent project as well from the second or the third exhibition the artist who did the exhibition there she found out because our our, our exhibition room is open when it's open it's open to the street direct 
and kids in my neighborhood spend their time in the street. They feel a lot of safe and they enjoy themselves in the street playing or running or... Uh, and when she found this, she collected some of her old material and told me just provide me a place or a table, some papers, and she started a workshop with these kids. And from then, I wasn't so interested actually in this educational uh, phase, but when I saw it, I, it, it, it should be, because it's there. So she did it, and most of the artists come, they do it for like maybe one day or longer program with one week or one month, and there is others who build projects for two years. And from, from visual art, yeah, when I started actually with David Abbey, he's a photographer, I'm a photographer, we are interested in photography and we did a photo exhibition, but with the second exhibition, shall we continue with photography only? <coughs> no, this is nonsense. We would like to be open to the art in general. So the second exhibition was painting, the third was installation, and so on. And then, yeah, shall we stay? With the art only, art is only one element in the culture. And from there, we had a lot of connection to a lot of other elements in culture. And later on, when, when we had the opportunity to, uh, to have a, another bigger space, we built a theater and we had uh, like talks in literature and uh, screening. Uh, and all kinds or all fields of culture between uh, cooking to clothes to literature to whatever comes to our minds. And with, with the residence program, that was also very early element. I think in the end of the first year, there is an artist from Switzerland she came and said, wow, this, this neighborhood is very interesting. I would like to stay here at least for one month or something. And I told the area, well, you are welcome. I'm leaving alone. And later, after her, there was a Norwegian artist. He came and he said, this is, looks exactly or almost like my working class neighborhood in Sweden 35 years ago when I was there. <laughs> and then, yeah. I told him, you are welcome, and he stayed there for two months, and we built a project together between Cairo and Oslo for two years. And this Japanese artist is with his wife. They sent me a proposal to come uh, for two months, and they had a very interesting uh, proposal to do their art and leave it. To do it from material found it in the space and to leave it again in the space. Um, and I liked a lot their story, therefore I welcomed them. They are a couple who was together in the academy and the guy had a, a car accident and he lay in the hospital for two years and she was looking after him, a very Japanese story. And she looked after him, and after he recovered, they get married. And at that time, he was so poor because he was in the hospital for the last two years. He promised her in 10 years, he cannot make a honeymoon now, he cannot provide money to travel, but he told her in 10 years, we will make a full year trip around the world and the residence in Art Law as part of the trip. They communicate with a lot of residence spaces in different areas, and they made a wonderful trip by this idea. Going there, founding what left, using it to convert it to art, and leaving it there.
So in our program, we have a lot of different activities between workshops, uh, interaction with kids, contemporary art exhibitions, uh, and so on. And this is in our rooftop, because mm -hmm. Art in Lewa is, is located in a, a small bed, not so small, it's 100 square meter. It's my family house. The ground floor is Art in Lewa. The first floor is my mom, whom was trying to call me now, but I will call her later. <laughs> and uh, the second floor is my studio, and I live there, and I open a part of it also for others. The third floor is my brother with his kids. The fourth floor belonged to one of my brothers, but I'm renting it from him because he has another apartment, and I'm using it for residence. The fifth also we're using it this way sometimes, because, because yeah, sometimes we have only one artist residence, or two or three, so it depends on how many artists I, I know what I use of the space, and I rent it. And on the rooftop, we have the sun or the year, so... And, and actually, I, I, I don't understand how people in Cairo doesn't use their rooftops. I use mine. My brother have built this tree house uh, for him to enjoy it and for his friends. And we enjoy it as well. And the artists visiting the space, going up there with a book or with a joint or with both is <laughs> nice too. Uh, and my mom also used it in the same time with raising some birds and some animals for our food. And after, after uh, uh, 2011 and the revolution in Egypt, there was a very big attraction for Egyptians leaves abroad or Egyptians were away to come back and to have something there. And one of them is this guy called Ibrahim Ahmed. He used to live in the States for the last 17 years before the revolution. And he said, wow, this is a turning point in the country and I have to go back there. And he came, he stayed at his family house in one of those elite neighborhoods but he stayed there for some time and didn't know what to do until a friend bring him to Arteloa and there he said yeah this is the place I can work and do art and he asked me yeah, if if there is a possibility to to help him stay in the space and I told him yeah you are welcome and he stayed for a couple of years and after that he rented an apartment and together with another artist they rent uh, a workshop and they have it as their studio now. So Art in Lua was a kind of a starting point because it wasn't normal. And actually most, uh, me, myself, I wasn't sure that I will complete the first year. And a lot of other friends who liked the idea also didn't thought that it will go further than one year or two years maximum. And nobody thought that it would establish something in that neighborhood. But after Art in Lewa, there is another institution for art by uh, an art professor from Cairo. And there is like four or five studios for different artists with their artwork. And a lot of those kids who started with Art in Lewa when 10 years ago, when they were like 10 years old, they are 20 now. And some of them are working as assistants for those other artists in their studios, and some others of them became artists and doing their artwork. And this is a Syrian artist who are interested in recycling and he didn't have a space to stay in. Actually, I met him in Lebanon and I invited him to come to Art in Lewa. He, was, he wasn't in Syria when the troubles happened, but he was living in Sweden and he studied there. 
and he was able to survive in Sweden or having the ability to stay there while he has the possibility to go back to his country whenever he likes. When this possibility cut, he was not able to stand anymore in Sweden. He cannot stand it. So he moved to Lebanon and I met him there. I invited him to come to Egypt. He came and stayed there for two years, did a lot of workshops and uh, things with uh, recycled wood uh, because he wanted at that time to do something with his hand. He wanted to get out of the computer. He studied computer and animation, but he didn't want to continue with this. He wanted to do something with his hand. Now he's, uh, he's in Turkey. A lot of things. And this is a Sudanese artist. Uh, also, my neighborhood is somehow attractive to uh, some kind of refugees. The African refugees, mainly. Sudanese, Ethiopians, Eritreans. And we have a lot of them around. While I wasn't... Uh, when, when, when I had art in Doha, there is a very tricky since if you show it, for example, some kind of, uh, what is it called, the naive art, or uh, it's called naive, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. The art which done by artists who didn't study. Uh, if you show this, you lose the interest of, of the other arts. And I was trying to keep away of naive art. But with time, I learned it, that Nothing called naive. This is just a fake word created by academy. And art is art. And whomever feeling that he's an artist is an artist. So that Sudanese artist was living uh, in the next door. And I met him. I watched his drawings. I directly invited him to do an exhibition in our space. And it was a wonderful event. In general, actually, when I do uh, talks about art and law, mostly I don't so show images. I just sit there having this word, art and law, and ask audience to Google it and to find out more about what I'm talking about, and I just tells a story, but as I am, Art is, is, is my neighborhood is, is an informal area, and I'm an informal person also, <laughs> so I'm not organized, and I didn't organize this talk. I organized it in my mind by thinking about it a lot, but I don't sit there and put this again after that and doing it in this way, I do it in chaotic way. So, and it's something, yeah, Art and start always with, with, with a small letter, not a capital letter, because we don't like capitalism. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I do it in this way or in that way. Graffiti artists, I help them to have a space in the street, and this is, yeah. This is a piece by the Japanese couple, and it's a wonderful art piece. They did it after they asked the people in the neighborhood what they think about the Ethiopia, what is the Ethiopia in their mind, and through their answers, they did this collage and it remained there. And this is an exhibition by two young artists, those two whom have been nine years old when I started art in Lowell. And now they are 20, and they got a lot of prizes. They even have a market and selling their work. Yep. And Japanese, French, this is French artist. So our residence 
having a very wide scale from different places. We had Arabian artists, African artists, European Americans, and so on. And you are welcome to Google Art in Lua and to know more about it because what I showed is so few and I cannot show everything here except I can show you something else a very little video of 10 minutes of one of the projects, one of the fantastic projects we have done not this in this young, okay Nobody understands So where is the video? We need to open more tabs. <laughs> this is a project by a French uh, artist who had uh, residence in Art in Lua in 2012. And she made uh, a very nice and long uh, workshop about presidential election. Because at that time, we had our first democratic presidential election mm -hmm. after 30 years of Mubarak uh, and after our revolution. And she made this wonderful project, which is related to the political situation at that time, to uh, have a workshop with people from the neighborhood to create a character, to create our candidate for president. And she made it, she made a doll out of it, as you will see now.
a kabuz. That was our uh, uh, candidate for president in 2012. But uh, yeah, other win the Muslim Brotherhood president and then he removed by a coup and life is still going. Yeah. That's our pillow. thinking of, of showing something about Art and Lewa and some other about my own artwork, but actually it's it's too much and it doesn't work together. And Art and Lewa is my masterpiece itself. So I cannot show other pieces. I can show it in another context. So you are welcome to ask anything. We would be curious to see some. <laughs> Let's see after. May, may, maybe through uh, our cooperation, if it worked well with uh, Prize, I would have an exhibition next summer. And then we would see something <laughs> live. <laughs> Awesome. You had a question? Yeah. yeah, I was wondering, you said something about um, <coughs> good artists, not good artists, and this uh, idea that it's uh, the Academy who, who creates this uh, discussion of judging. And I wonder how you came about, I mean, do you never, I mean, how do you choose the people, or uh, is it just, there's no idea of quality of, uh, of an artist's work? Or uh, because no. I find this very interesting that you okay. yeah. say. Uh, through these 10 years, actually, mm -hmm. I made the best academic I can ever have and cooperating with, with, with others because I meet a lot of, of artists and creators from all over the world with whom we studied here or there, who studied with very expensive academics or with less. And I don't see between them somebody got the education I had. Because the education I had, it was through 10 years in cooperating with over 300 artists in these 10 years. That was the best academy I can ever get in. And I learned it through it a lot, and one of the things I learned is that I don't, I don't judge art. Who I am to judge art? Art is something so big and so wide and so huge to be judged. So I can follow what I like of the art, but what I don't like or what I don't understand, I don't judge it. Uh, But about art and lewa, it have a criteria, as I also said. For example, the abstract studio art, which is I have a lot of appreciation for it, it's not welcome in my space. Because the artist who does that, he can do it in a, in a lot of other spaces. He can do it in a nice, calm studio, in in another area but my space have have some gifts which is we should use it it's the, the social level of this neighborhood the atmosphere of it the the environment the environment of it the urban level of it 
all of this is, 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 is something to be used because art is a need for elements to, to consume and, and therefore I have a criteria for those who are more interested in cooperative work on interactive with the society on this kind on urban development on so we do our selections through this with keeping the diversity as well and that Sudanese artist for example is part of this criteria while he's doing just uh, very classical drawings on paper but he's part because he's he chose to live in this neighborhood and he's part of this neighborhood and this is create other context of what he's presenting because it's not just what he's presenting. I, I always believe that art is not just the product. Art is the product and the artist himself. Yeah, that's why I see it. I think it's a very beautiful idea behind it. Uh, if you say it's art, it's uh, like this beautiful idea of givingness, of uh, coming together and not to be uh, having a quality idea what might be art, because I think it's an individual thing of expression, like if you go out and if you eat something and then you get it down, and so that's art in an individual sense. And the mo most uh, beautiful is uh, to communicate and to go together and uh, uh, everybody finds an expression. Yeah? Uh, it's not an expression only by, by talking. It's, uh, yeah, it's all, if you say, if maybe it's very European style of academy or German, the quality of art, what does it mean? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, the, the quality of art, uh, for example, the, the, the reclams on TV have a very high quality of choosing the color, the font, the size, the time. It have a very high quality. Is it art? Yes, it's art, but if it's the art we like, mm -hmm. if it's the art we would like to have more of it, or we need some other kind of art which is open the dialogue between me and you, which is give a space to create, to, to understand, to, to act and react, not just to consume, not just to go behind this fancy, shining product in order to buy it or to be depressed that we cannot buy it. Might it be true that uh, the so-called art or art system is, of course, dependent to get be an artist and you have to earn your money. And so you have the quality, then you earn your money, and then you have the quality of an artist. So I think that's a very different system. Uh, of what is the uh, of this idea, and I think you are not alone with your idea. <laughs> you are not alone. Uh, with yeah, your yeah, not yeah, I'm not alone. Yeah, it's yeah, a, yeah. yeah. It's there a discussion anyway. Yeah, yeah. There is, there is a lot, yes. and I, I met, I met a lot through, mm -hmm. through my journey and through this study. It, it, it opened my mind also that, and it opens the space for me to, to, to meet others until I. Until I came here, and I met also some, a lot of similarity of, of, of the way of thinking, and yeah, and hopefully we can go further with this for more and more, and to get rid of of, of the thickness of 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 the art, uh, which which is make it limited in, in, in very small rooms in in, in, in white cubes and. Nobody really interact with it uh, because that, that was actually one of the main aims to 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 find out something between art and, and people because I get rid of of these exhibitions I used to visit and just me and our friends moving from an exhibition to another 
in, in, in these galleries in downtown. And yeah, where, 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 where is people? Is, is art have just done for artists to see it or to be open for more? Yeah, and it's a try. We, we, we experiment. <laughs> Something else? And support is very important in this, uh, in this uh, field. Who is supporting you? Who is supporting me? Yeah. Uh, you? <laughs> yes. I you, by, by coming and attending this speech, it's, it's a kind of support. Because this is... Gives, maybe you don't put your hand in your pocket and give me some money to support some exhibitions there, but a connection through you would do this. Uh, you might send me a link of an institution which is could support similar. You tell me uh, those could be interested in what you are doing because I read in their proposal that and that. And, this, and like this it happens. When I started Art in Lewa, I said, okay, we have this little room down there. And I asked my mom, because it belonged to her, may I use it? Because she used to rent it before. And I told her, I cannot pay you a rent now. So my mom supported me first and gave me the room for free, but not, not always. Yeah, When I start to have money, she said, oh, come on. I start to pay her rent for it. And yeah, I took it from her first two years, for example, I didn't pay it here. And uh, the first employee or not employee, she was my partner, actually, a German uh, girl, a wonderful German girl called Verena Lippel. And I, uh, I always remember her and, uh, yeah, and uh, communication with her, but she's very busy now with her three kids' family and working too much in Berlin. Um, I met her in a, in, a, in a house party and I asked her yeah, why, why you are in Cairo and she said yeah, to practice my Arabic, I'm studying Arabic and I have just finished my university I asked her what you studied in university, she said yeah some sociology and some art and, and so uh, and I'm searching for job I told her in Cairo, she said, yeah, work and jobs in Germany are so few and it's not easy to get a job there. Then I said, yeah, I will come to practice my Arabic and I might find a job. And I asked her what kind of job you would like to work with. And she said, yeah, something about art, culture, exchange in this field. I told her, yeah, I'm up to founding a space for this specifically, for art and culture and exchange in my neighborhood, Ardellewa. She said, wow, this is interesting. What you are going to do there exactly? Well, the area we will do exhibitions and workshops. Uh, she said, yeah, why not? Until we came to the point of the salary in our speech, I told her, yeah, about the salary, you will pay something like 500 pounds or 1,000 pounds monthly. She said, excuse me, maybe there is misunderstanding in the language. I will pay or I will get. So definitely you will pay. I have no money and I need somebody to help me. <laughs> she said, wow, this is great job. Okay, I accept it. <laughs> I told her, no, I accept it. <laughs> and we started. And she spent the first six months with me covering the cost of Art and We were calculated how much we spend this month, it's 2,000. Okay, I pay 1,000 and she pay 1,000. And after two or three years, she left after six months, after uh, her family uh, started to tell her, yeah, you have to continue your studies and so on and so on. She had some other plans, so she went further, but she obliged the space with me. Um, and yeah, after two years, the institutes, start to talk to me because by that time I was already had a program I have already a reputation I'm invited to receptions by ambassadors by uh, cultural institutes so they were asking me why you don't get that grant of us it's it's very related to what you are doing 
I tell them, yeah, but the grant you are writing, it's for NGOs, and I didn't find an NGO. <coughs> they say, ah, oh, come on, apply and let's see about it. We can make some uh, expectation, uh, some, uh, what is it called? To make something out of the system. Some exception. 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 Yeah. And, and, and I, 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 I continue to take a lot of grants uh, with exceptions like this, and some others without exceptions. It fits to what I'm applying for. But it started actually by the, founder, the funders asking me to apply, not I'm asking them to, to cover my program. And with time, of course, with having a bigger programs and, and, uh, and a bigger amount of fund, it wasn't working with exceptions. So I, I had my est establishment papers at, uh, as a company for uh, art. Yeah. And you are welcome also to support us. Because this <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming from Turkey. Uh, uh -huh. and, uh, and I'm doing the same thing in my country, in my own state, uh, where I born. Where? On the Black Sea Coast. Uh -huh. Since 2005, I established uh, one uh, international uh, art panel, uh, the name is Sinopardia. And since uh, 10 years, uh, I'm doing, I'm using the same way, and my family supporting me, and my friends supporting me, and of course our initiative, and uh, we are supporting our young generation and children, mm -hmm. and also uh, to do like a, a, a nice a social uh, space uh, to make a social, uh, I can say, such a space and then uh, urban development. And we are using uh, a tool, uh, participation is a tool, of course, and we are using this one, uh, this one. and also collaboration, volunteer collaboration, of course, this is a Turkish name, we cannot find in the, the, the uh, okay, so okay. any language <laughs> uh, the meaning of this uh, word. And uh, you explained uh, to me what I am doing. <laughs> <laughs> You are more than welcome. <laughs> yeah, but please give me the contact and the, yes, the, 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 and the website of the... Yes, tomorrow, to, tomorrow I'm like leaving in the morning. Speech uh, which, uh, in Hamburg uh, happens the university. And so unfortunately, I'm leaving in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let's keep in touch. Because I, 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 uh, two months ago, I met the, the manager of the culture uh, office, the Turkish culture office in Cairo. And we were talking about creating some exchange between Turkey and Egypt yes. because it's not exit. What, but and, and also I have a lot of other communication with Turkey. I, a friend of mine have a space in uh, Eskisher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but let's continue. Okay. Yep. Thank you for coming. Thank you. No, okay. yeah. Uh, yes. yeah. I'm sorry. If any other questions? <laughs> okay. No, I, have to, uh, I have to thank you again uh, for coming here, and um, I, for me, it's always I'm, I'm very happy, and it's a kind of luxury situation. The whole world is coming here and telling us so so vivid, so so colorful what what we can do in this world and also what we can do together and I'm very happy to learn by your project what, uh, what the meaning of uh, social plastic, what we learn uh, from Josef Beuys, he's very important for us maybe, or for my generation because my teacher was a friend of Josef Beuys, so this is social <laughs> plastic in the best way you can explain, so you state where you are, where you're born, where you're raised and uh, you, you influence people there what art could be and you open the space, you open the stage for them and also that's what we try to do here. We, we have now, uh, I told you, this project Hypercultural Passengers and, and we want to talk about concepts of culture and this is a very good example how culture could work in, in an active way, 
dealing with, with uh, night neighbors and not only in the arts circle, not in, only in the white cube. And uh, yeah, I, I'm totally impressed and uh, this gives me a lot of power, supports me, supports us. And yeah, thank you everybody for coming and uh, I hope we now start something without money first. That's also a deal for us uh, to organize, but uh, if we have good ideas, we find good ways to support it. And also, you're welcome here. Thank you for coming. Uh, you have taught me a lot about you, so I'm also happy to have you here. And uh, hopefully, we find time that you can also tell us about your projects. Uh, that's really very interesting. And uh, thanks to everybody coming. And uh, I'm very happy that Birgit Jensen from Düsseldorf, a very good artist and a friend, brought us together. And yeah, so thank you. Enjoy the evening. And yeah, you can have wine, we have wine, we have a little beer, water if you like. And so maybe we can start talking a little bit now in formal way and yeah. Okay, thank you.